Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Lo Seli. So for this afternoon, I am going to discuss crimes committed by candidates in election. And in connection to this, allow me to cite BP881 or Batas Pambansa Bilang 881, also known as the Omnibus Election Code of the Philippines. On top of BP881, allow me to anchor it as well or insert as well some excerpt from the 1987 Constitution para at least mas malawak nating maintindihan kung ano yung nasasaad dito sa mga crimes committed or offenses or even violations. So I hope everyone's ready. Let's start. So under Section 4 of BP 881, a stipulated obligation to register and vote. So it shall be the obligation of every citizen or Filipino citizen, tayo, qualified to vote, to register, and cast his or her vote. Okay? Um, you will see here some emphasis with regard, to the, with regard to the word qualified. Why? Because allow me to insert here or inject here Article 5 under the 1987, Constitu 1987 Constitution, which is our right to vote or right to suffrage. Okay? General rule. Right to suffrage may be exercised by all Filipino citizens as long as you are 18 years old and above. Okay? Exception to that general rule, unless or not otherwise disqualified by law. As long as daw po may batas na nagsasabi na ito yung list of disqualification or ito yung mga grounds for you to be disqualified. Next, under Article 2, State Policies, allow me again to inject some provisions from the 1987 Constitution. Okay? Dito po, we actually define or the Constitution actually define the word sovereignty. Okay? So, sovereignty resides in the people sa atin daw po. And all government authority emanates from them. Okay? Kung baga, ito yung pyramid. Nasa gitna ng pyramid, masasabi natin yung media. Because the media serves as our watchdog puma. Okay? Pero ang next question is, sino kaya yung nasa tip at sino kaya yung nasa baba ng pyramid? Is it the politician? Tapos nandito yung public? Or is it the other way around? Answer is, the public okay, must be on the tip of the triangle. While the government officials dapat po nasa baba. Why? Kasi sabi dito sa definition ng word na sovereignty, the government authority emanates okay, from the people. Therefore, the moment we actually elected a government official or officials, he or she should serve the public. Okay? Not for his own gain, not for his own benefit, but for the benefit of everyone. Promoting social justice, promoting a, or maintaining a civilized society. Ganyan po kalaki ang responsibilidad ng mga taong tumatakbo to this different public or government offices. Next po, Section 12 pertains to disqualifications and this is under the Omnibus Election Code of the Philippines. Allow me to highlight uh, the important clauses para at least mas madali nating mag -rest. Number one, any person who has been declared by competent authority as insane or incompetent as long as they have a valid proof. Pangalawa po, okay, sentenced to a penalty of more than 18 months. Etong ikatlo, ito yung very important. Or crime involving moral torpitude. Ano po ma'am yung moral torpitude? It is a wicked act. It is a wicked behavior. It is an ethical. It is actually against the standard set by the society. It is against the standard of norms. It is against the code of ethics. Okay? So meaning to say, wala po siya ma'am good moral character. Okay? Another so, if that is the general rule, this is the exception to the general rule. Unless he or she has been given plenary pardon or granted amnesty by the executive department. Okay? As long as he or she is qualified to be granted with pardon or amnesty, why not? But I think we need to check on the circumventing circumstances or the holistic violation if there is a valid justification with regard to the allegation. If sa tingin natin na hindi naman niya deserve kay mabigyan ng pardon or amnesty, then do not anymore provide that. Kasi kawawa naman yung public na will actually, su will actually suffer okay, kapag hinalal ulit yung tao na yun who according to Section 12 is 
disqualify. Next, we also have Article 22, specifically Section 261 uh, of the Omnibus Election Code, and this pertains to election offenses and violations. I actually enumerated here what is um, stipulated under Article 22, Section 261, but I also provide emphasis dun sa mga bagay or dun sa mga actuations or offenses and violations na very rampant sa Philippines. Number one po is vote buying and vote selling. Okay. Every halala, number one po, dyan lang po ma'am namin nararamdaman yung mga kandidato. Because that is the only time that we benefit from them. Lalong-lalo na ma'am kapag May 9 na, no? Or yung day ng halalan ma'am. Because that is the time na at some point ma'am rampant na yung vote buying or vote selling. Lalong-lalo na if you are part of the grassroots or the marginalized sector, sabi nga natin, ma'am, ang mga biktima nito is yung mga taong nasa laylayan, no? But, come to think of it, are you going to sell your vote and suffer for six years? Sabihin natin, binigyan kang 500, 2,000 plus bigas. The moment you actually accept that, tingnan mo yung future mo for the next six years. Would this particular amount of money, would this particular kilo of rice suffice for six years? Kahit alam kong hindi naman deserving siya. Okay. So, those are the things that we need to ponder. Okay. And with regard to both buying and both selling, allow me to provide some excerpt um, from the footage or from the news broadcasted by CNN Philippines. It's illegal to buy and sell votes. But for many years, this has been the norm in Philippine elections. In experience ko na rin yan, yung pakataas bumoto, simple kang abutan. Sabi-sabi lang, punta tayo doon, meron daw dito abutan, mga ganun. Yung iba kasi katira, ah, pera na yan eh. Hindi man nila alam kung sino yung boto ko. Tanggap lang sila ng tanggap. For two decades now, politicians have been hiring Juan as POOC leader, in charge of buying votes for them. On the night before election day, POOC leaders go to a known bailiwick of their patron's opponent. They pay voters their 1,000 pesos each to stay home and not vote. Kakausapin na kung ilan yung butante sa pamilya nila. O kung ilang, ilang kayong butante rito, huwag na lang kayong bumoto, babayaran na lang namin kayo. Kasi alam namin na ang iboboto nila yung kalaban namin eh. On election day, POC leaders tell voters to go to a specified place before casting their ballot. Their names are listed down before they are given instructions on what to do. At the precinct, voters must discreetly show their failed ballot to the watcher, who is also hired by one's candidate. Kahit nga minsan, yung mga teachers, alam, tell may ano rin yun, nabibigyan. Tapos, pagdating nung ano, pag nakaboto ka na, may indelible ka na, pupunta ka na uli doon sa lugar na, no? sa kakababayana. Those who vote for one's client, a candidate for mayor, get 1,000 pesos. Watchers are paid 300 pesos to make sure voters deliver on their promise. Watchers are also required to vote for one's candidate. Pag nanalo yung kandidato mo, Pwede kang maging empleyado ngayon ng munisipyo. Matatanggap ka agad kasi tumulong, nakatulong ka ng ano. Juan doesn't think there's anything wrong with what he does. Kung hindi namin gagawin doon, kalaban lang namin ang gagawa. No, mag tinatapatan lang namin na yun. CNN Philippines talked to some people who admit to selling their votes or say they know, quote, someone who does. Sa sobra si kong kahirapan, di ba? Kailangan ng pera. Lalo na yung mga mahirap, madali mabibili. Pera din po yun ng bayan. <laughs> di po ba? Hindi naman po galing sa bulsa nila yun eh. A 2018 study by the Ateneo School of Government shows about 40% witnessed vote buying in their community, while 20% admitted to actually selling their votes. Of those who admitted to selling their votes, two of three said they voted for the candidate who gave them money. Kung tumanggap ka ng pera, kailangan mo din talaga sila kiboto. Kawawa naman din kasi. Ronald Mendoza, dean of the Ateneo School of Government, says vote buying is more rampant in areas where the battle among candidates is neck and neck. I, I think actually vote buying decides who wins in those intensely uh, competitive areas. 
Mendoza notes that many Filipinos sell their votes not just because of poverty. They do it because they have lost their faith in democracy and would rather think of their own benefits first rather than the country. Pero kung maling tao ang ilagay natin dyan, the possibility is that they will begin to rationalize, oh, because I spent so much getting elected, then I must somehow get that back. And it's okay to get that back because sa akin din naman natakbo nyo eh. Okay, next we also have conspiracy to bribe voters. Ito po yung mga suhol na tinatawag natin. Third, wagering upon result of election. Ito po yung pustahan. It's as if you are just watching the boxing competition of Mr. Manny Pacquiao. Okay, so yan, yan isa din po yan sa offenses and violations. Void po yan kung manalo ka man. Next is coercion of subordinates. And we also have, I highlighted here, the threats, intimidation, terrorism, use of fraudulent device, or other forms of coercion. Threats, kasi ma'am, feeling po namin, boss po namin siya. So, kailangan po namin sundin kung ano man yung sasabihin niya. Intimidation, lalo na dun sa offices, no? For example, we have um, a current government official, tapos nagpa-survey siya, and then dun sa survey, hindi mo siya pin pinili, then following day, you are already dismissed in your workplace, then pwede mo po yung ireklamo. Okay, because that is a violation, okay, as stipulated under Section 261. Next po, coercion of election of specialists and employees, appointment of new employees, creation of new position, promotion or giving salary increases. Punta tayo sa appointment of new employees. Ito, very visible to. Like, after the halalan, ay, na-promote siya. Na-increase yung salary grade niya. Uy, may ginawang position even though there is already an existing government position. Okay, doing the job. Who has the scope of that certain new position created? Bawal po yan. Next, transfer of officers and employees in the civil service. Intervention of public officers and employees. Some of the provisions is self-explanatory na. Next, undo influence. Unload to promise, solicit, or receive. Actually, eto mga kandak na to, benefits to nung mga tumatakbong government official. So, think about it. Magpapagamit ka ba or magpapagamit ka para sa Pilipinas to justify the fact, ma'am, yung fidelity ko po nasa bayan. Hindi po dun sa mga kandidatong tumatakbo. Because sabi nga natin dun sa 1987 preamble, no, we the sovereign Filipino people and we elect in accordance to our ideals and aspirations para sa mahal nating Pilipinas. Next po, unlawful electioneering, prohibition against dismissal of employees, laborers, or tenants, as made mention kanina. Appointment or use of special policemen, special agents, confidential agents, or the like. Ito, grave abuse of power to. For self-benefit, mag appoint ka ng mga special policemen na you are going to double, triple the, pay the, the payment para at least ma-assure mo na ikaw yung mananalo. Illegal release of prisoners before and after election, yung mga pre-arranged agreement or ito yung mga pre-arranged agreement, no? nakapag nanalo ako, ilalabas ko yung anak mo o yung pamangkin mo na nasa kulungan, bawal po yan. Use of public funds, kasi sabi natin ma'am, yung pera na yan po ay galing sa mga taxpayers. Money deposited in trust, equipment, facilities owned or controlled by the government of an election campaign. Di ba meron po kasi tayong tinatawag sa tax na symbiotic relationship? The moment daw po na nagbabayad tayo ng tax, meron daw pong obligasyon at responsibility sa atin ang mga government officials for us to maintain a civilized society. Dapat po secure tayo every day because you are paying for that particular security. You deserve to actually claim it. And of course, you deserve to demand for it. Next po. Deadly weapons. Okay, There's, there is already threat in national security. Next, carrying firearms outside residence or place of business. Kapag alam mo nang hindi ikaw yung iboboto, no, mag appoint ka ng someone na aabangan siya. Like this, like that, some scenarios, bawal po yan. Use of armored land, water, or aircraft, grabe. Um, eto na siguro yung moment na desperado ka ng manalo to the point na yan na yung ginagawa mo. Wearing of uniforms and bearing arms because visually speaking, no, you are already telling the person or the public na I am a person in authority, so kung ano yung sasabihin ko dapat gawin mo, 
bawal po yan. Policemen and provincial guards acting as bodyguards or security guards in connection to the previous one. Again, visual conveyance with regard to authority, bawal po yan. Because that can be an indirect undue influence or indirect threat. Okay, wala ka pang sinasabi, porma mo pa lang, dating mo pa lang, uniform mo pa lang, grabe na yung message. Sabi nga natin, medium is the message. At mas grave po, grabe yung gravity or grabe yung weight po niya. Next, organization or maintenance of reaction forces, strike forces, prohibition against release, disbursement, or expenditure, suspension of elective provincial city, municipal, or barangay officers. Now, given these different offenses and violations, meron po tayo mga penalties. Okay? If you are a private individual, imprisonment of not less than one year, but not more than six years, and shall not be subject to probation. Depende pa rin po to dun sa ebidensya na prinesent. Okay? For them to determine kung ano yung length ng imprisonment mo. Pa pero minimum po yan ng one year, maximum po ng six years. Kapag political party naman po yung nag-violate, given the evidence presented, shall be sentenced to pay a fine of not less than 10,000 pesos. Ma'am, bakit mababa naman po yung 10,000 pesos? You need to check kung kailan po na-publish at kung kailan po na-implement yung BP-881. Because during the time of the implementation nitong batas na to, yung 10,000 pesos, malaki na po yan. But if you are going to look at it, no, okay lang pala na mag-violate ka mo, bubayad lang pala kami ng 10,000 10, pesos. No, because COMELEC as an independent constitutional commission actually provided a particular remedy. Okay? They actually opened an email okay? at yung sumbong ko at votesafe.ph para if in case may makita ka pong mga violations or offenses, pwede mo po sa kanilang isen. Okay? As long as you have a valid proof, you have a called proof that will justify your allegation. But don't worry, that will be tagged as confi. Denishal. Okay? So, I think that's it for the crimes committed in election. Before I actually um, evaporate okay, in your different devices and gadgets, I just want to leave this um, particular statement. Okay? Remember that the youth is part of the constitution in terms of nation building. So, I hope this May 9, 2022, you are going to um, exercise your right to suffrage or right to vote by electing the most competent, the most eligible, na sa tingin nyo, hindi lang mag-benefit yung generation ninyo, but for the generations yet to come. So, I think that's it for me this afternoon. Maraming salamat po for your time listening to this content at mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Always remember that our fidelity should be in, should be given to the Philippines and not to any political parties or political color. Thank you po. Bye!